question to ask you. Do you truly and honestly believe you are worthy of wealth? How do you feel about being wealthy? You need to stop and take the time to ask yourself, how do you feel? And your answers will change as you go through and discover different blocks, new blocks, old blocks, as you work your way naturally through life. So for you to progress on financially at your maximum level, you need to be aware of these blocks, but you also need to understand at all times and have a baseline foundation within yourself that understands and truly believes that you are worthy of wealth and that you deserve it. So for this video, I want to talk to you about self-worth when it comes to wealth and explain to you and show you how to build it up and what you need to be aware of and what you need to do. First of all, if you discover that there are just one or two even little negative feelings that come up from the idea of wealth and you being wealthy, I want you to turn down the volume of what you think wealth really is. I am not here to tell you you must become a multi-millionaire overnight. Absolutely not. If you want to, that's great and I'm on board with you either way. But stop trying to make wealth seem so big and dramatic. You're actually not going to change as a person when you do become a multi-millionaire. Start to think about wealthy as being financially comfortable and having financial freedom. Stop trying to think about it as having millions of dollars in the bank account and millions of dollars in shares and property around the world. It doesn't need to be as dramatic as that. Just think of it as a really simplistic way of being financially comfortable and financially free. The second thing I want you to realize is you being abundant is actually a really helpful and powerful thing for everyone around the world. When you earn money, you are not taking money from anywhere or anyone. You're not depriving them by taking something of them because you're exchanging values. You work for that person. You give them your resources of your time and your knowledge and your expertise in exchange for money. And also when you have more wealth, there's a very powerful and very important flow on effect. When you have wealth, you're able to spend money. You're able to support other businesses, services around you, which then employ other people. And those people can then afford to put food on the table for their families clothes on their back. It is really important that flow of money is abundant and there is nothing wrong with earning it because you add it back to the universe. And remember, energy is contagious. So as you experience the flow and effect, your success helps inspire others and gives them the chance of success for themselves. Point number three, anyone can be wealthy. Wealth does not need a resume. You don't need to have topped your class. You don't need to be the prettiest person, the tallest person, the smartest person, the hardest working person. Wealth does not need or is interested in your resume. Now, the way that I want you to deal and process this is think about wealth as you would think about your favorite pet. Your favorite pet, let's say it's a pet dog, does not care about the type of clothes that you wear or where you live or what you do for a living or how much you earn. All that pet wants from you is to love, value, respect, and appreciate that pet. And then that pet will love you back unconditionally. Wealth works exactly the same way. When you value money and you spend it mindfully and you're aware of the flow and effect and that you direct the flow and effect in ways that work with your value system, that money multiplies. And when you use money, you use it responsibly and wisely and respectfully. You follow the mantra of only buying what you love, value, use, and appreciate, and the universe respects that back. When you realize that wealth does not need a resume, you realize that anyone and everyone can be wealthy. The fourth thing I want you to realize about self-worth wealth is history schmistry. Money has no memory. It doesn't care or is interested in what you have done in your past. Any mistakes you've done or things that you've done foolishly is not interested. It's only living in the present moment. So use those present moments wisely to build and grow your wealth, but also your sense of financial worth. And if anything, those mistakes or stuff ups in the past actually serve as huge blessings in disguise because you can use this as what motivates you and creates that shift into a better, healthier financial future for yourself. Just focus on the present moment and where you are going forward. The fifth thing that I want you to understand about financial self-worth is money is expansive. Money is just simply energy, but the more money we have, the more energy we have. And when we have more energy, we have more ideas. We have a greater sense of motivation and inspiration to do more things and to manifest more. And as we manifest more, we actually open ourselves up to more, even more ideas. 
even more opportunities, even more growth. And if anything, we actually magnify our own self-worth. Idea number six that I really want you to understand when it comes to building your self-worth around wealth, and that is the opportunities are endless. There are so many things you can do to create, earn, manifest extra money in your life. You are not defined by your current situation. There are things you can sell. There are things that you can rent out. You can write your own ebook. You could start your own workshop online. If you're a great cook, you could teach cooking lessons to your local community. I will never forget meeting someone who told me about their sister. And their sister was a childcare teacher. And she decided to create a school camp because all the kids were about to go on school holidays and most of the parents were working parents. And from this one school camp program that she ran, this childcare teacher made $50,000. Now that's just one story. Think about all the other stories out there. The person who invented the zip, the person who invented Velcro, the person who invented noodles that go into swimming pools. There really is an endless opportunity out there to make some money. You've just got to get up there and have a go yourself. And then the final thing that I want you to understand and know when it comes to building your self-worth around wealth, and that is things can change very quickly. Just because you're in a really tough situation right now and on a really tight budget and can barely breathe and let alone keep your head above water, know that this is just a situation right now. There could be something around the corner waiting for you where it's gonna dramatically change for you. And you've gotta be ready to take those opportunities but also to see those opportunities. So do not get stuck by that feeling of where you stand right now financially. And remember, every step in the right direction is just as important as the big steps. You are only creating more and more shifts and you're also sending a very, very very powerful signal to the universe that you are serious about changing your financial future and that you want to get rid of, the rid of the debts and you are getting rid of the debts and you are becoming wiser, you are becoming more responsible and building wealth. So now that you understand more about the importance of self-worth when it comes to building your wealth and breaking any blocks or boundaries or self-imposed limitations, I want you to smash them out of the water because you are so much more powerful and better than this. I'd also like to make an audio announcement. That noise in the background is actually Sophia snoring underneath me. I'm really sorry about that. Now if you like this video around self-worth please let me know and I'll make more of it. I have had my own block around talking about this because I was worried that some people may found this a bit kooky, weird or make people feel uncomfortable. So if you like me talking about this I have a wealth of ideas and opinions and attitudes that I think would really help me. So if you love this please give me a thumbs up but also let me let me know by putting a comment in the comments box below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. Ciao for now.